Look how nice it looks outside. You know what that means. Boosty ass bitch. What's up you guys, today I am going to take you guys to the park. I was watching my last video, I was like, yo, you take so long to start the video. So this intro is gonna be cute and quick. I packed myself a little lunch. The weather's nice, I got myself a little blanket. We're gonna go to the park, so let's go. Keep it a stack. They just move out cause they know I got bands. Money, I know who I am. Oh my god. I just realized that it's a Sunday. Everyone and their mama trying to get this. Let me show y'all the parking. Look, everyone, everybody's here already. Everybody wants to make a YouTube video. Like, I found a spot. I found a spot. We're for sure putting on sunscreen. I can already feel myself sweating. Ugh. I hope there's like a cute little tree to like put my blanket and just chill. I already ate a good breakfast, but I did bring myself like a little a little lunch. All right, I'm already sweating. Ooh. Uh huh. I was like, "Fuck, where's my camera?" Really, guys? I found the perfect spot. Look at her. Hasta los pájaros. All right, guys. We are sat. This is the best angle I could give you guys. Cause I don't have a tripod. I broke her. So the first thing we have is a little water. I'm gonna diet, so I brought a small bag of chips. The diet is eat whatever you want. A little sandwich. Talk to her. She's cute. And then, you know me. So let's just chat. Cheers to our first bite. There was this guy, you guys saw how like full the parking lot was, right? There was this guy standing in a parking spot, an empty one. I guess saving a spot for whoever's coming. I hate that, that is one thing I hate. I can't stand people who do that. And people were honking at him like, yo, move. And he was like, early bird gets the worm. Baby. I like circled around the whole thing three times looking for a parking spot and he was still there and I was like, girl, girl. Not gonna lie, coming to this park, there's a taco truck every 10 steps. I'm like, damn, this white ass sandwich, I want myself a taco with cebolla, cilantro, salsa verde, like all of that shit. One thing I overcame, came? One thing I, over <laughs> one thing I overcame was filming in front of people. When I used to film over there, I'm trying to get close because I feel like y'all can't hear me, hold on. Let me move her a little back. I hope this is cute. A little moment. A little intimate. Let's get intimate. I was okay with filming like in my room or in my house, but everybody had to be gone. Everybody had to leave. If I went to the mall, like I would look around and be like, nobody's around. Okay, record. And if somebody would come, I would stop. But now I'm just like, girl, I don't give a fuck. I know back then I'd be like, stop recording and then like go somewhere. But I'm like, girl, y'all are in my movie. Y'all are in my movie. Anyways. Coming to this park, there's mad Hispanics, right? And I just keep seeing like families, like big ass families, like they doing cookouts. Like one over there's doing a cookout. One of them has their whole tent, like with the benches and stuff. Damn, I miss my family. Like it's giving Mexico City, like like La Marquesa. I'm oh going down. I wish like me and my parents were here, like buying tacos and just chilling at the park. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, yeah, quiero, yeah, quiero, yeah. But. I hope y'all can hear the music. It's a vibe out here. I was talking to my man the other day, like, about how I was in high school. We were reminiscing about, like, bullies and stuff. And I was like, yo, like, to be honest, like, I don't think I ever was bullied, thankfully. But you know why? I fucked with everyone. Like, I was on the soccer team, so, you know, I had the boys behind my back. I had the girls with me, you know. I was always rocking with the pretty girls. I would do, like, the school play, so the theater kids, like, they was my friends, too. I just like to fuck with everyone. Like, not like that, but, like, I like making friends. But I remember being called a snake because they're like, oh, like, 
you probably talked about everybody to everybody and I'm like, I keep my mouth shut. But they weren't lying. I did know everything about everyone because everybody would come to me. Sometimes, I'd just be talking to myself in my room and I'd be recreating like arguments between me and my brother. I'd just be like, excuse me? Like, are you fucking kidding? Like, I'd be going like, all out. Like if it was really happening. I just really not, I don't know. I'm a little psycho. Have you ever been asked the question like, oh, like what do you think your purpose in life is? Have you guys thought about that? Uh, you guys are like, damn, I came here to laugh, not to fucking think about my life. If you guys are like open about it, like I'd like to know what y how you respond to that. Comment under the video. I want to see what people say. I feel like my purpose in life is to bring lightness bring light to people's lives i like to make people laugh like forget about the bad stuff in life like let's just laugh and bring you joy if that makes sense so which is why like i like to do tiktoks like memes youtube videos so yeah once i like become somebody big like i know i'm making people laugh i'm gonna feel complete that's when i feel like i made it one thing i noticed ooh, one thing i noticed a difference from here to north carolina is that like I felt that when I was over there and somebody spoke Spanish, you were either Mexican or Salvadorian. Here and there, there'd be like people from Guatemala or Honduras, but like rarely, like rarely, right? Everybody just is just Mexican or Salvadorian, that's it. Over here, they got Ecuadorians here, they got Hondurans, they got Dominican, they got Puerto Rican, like they got everything. I can say that I have a friend from any, every speaking Spanish country. Most, actually I'm not even gonna, I swear, I swear. For most Spanish speaking countries. Another thing, back in North Carolina, if you stepped outside, you either smelled rain, wet grass, biscuits, or something. Over here, you come outside, if it does not smell like gas, gas either car gas or gas gas over here like every block weed 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 i'm like damn get me this is a question for like my depressed people or like people who have been through depression like what age and how how long would was your depression you guys are like i'm still going like what do you mean how long do you think it lasted because i feel like mine i feel like it only lasted for like like maybe three months, three or four months. My heart is like, bitch, you know that shit was longer than that. For four months, I was like, I'm not feeling life. And honestly, I think what helped me was this, like making something, feeling like I have a purpose. Wait, I just realized that is my purpose. So my advice, feed your purpose to help you like not feel useless. That's what I felt, I was like, dude, like, What's the point? Like, what am I doing? If you think your purpose is to like, be rich, then work. Find a job that you like. If you feel like your purpose is to be a content creator, make TikToks. Okay, this is gonna be a little like, just me and you. So don't tell anybody. Let's get a little closer, cause it's more intimate. Honestly, life is worth living for. Even if it's to just sit in the park and talk to yourself on a camera. Once you find stuff that makes you happy, why like why stop doing it just do it just do it nike um i like talking if you guys haven't noticed i'm like but yeah i'm finished with my food so i mean i still have little chips left but that's that's for the road i'm gonna get up i'm probably gonna walk around because this is a huge park i'm either going to use this big park to walk around and just use that for my exercise or i might go to the gym because one thing about me, I like my arms to look good, so I might do arm day today. I will not be bringing you guys in because I don't have the equipment to like stand the camera up. I don't want to like, excuse me, can I set my camera up here? And I don't want to have one of those things. So if I don't see you guys again, I hope you guys enjoy. Um, and I hope I know. I swear. The next time someone's screaming on my fucking video, eh, just call them. Look, ah, that's how you know I'm gay. Okay, no, but on a serious note, look at my my, my fingers turning green. Uh, that's how you know I'm fake. 